Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and like it. The movie begins with a young girl trying to escape from something scary. Fearing for her life, she ignores her father and neighbor, returns to the house and grabs her car keys. After getting away from her secret stalker, she decides to spend the night outdoors. At night, the girl receives a call from her father and tries to reassure her frightened daughter. But all attempts are in vain. Saying goodbye to her parents, she hangs up. The next morning, her mutilated body lies on the beach. A young and charming student of overseas university, enjoying the weekend girl relaxes in the pool and ignores her sister's offer to watch a movie, as in the evening she has a date with her new boyfriend. After picking out a beautiful dress, the girl meets Hugh and the couple goes to the theater. In line, Jay offers to play a simple but very interesting game. The guy has to choose the person from the crowd that he would like to be. And the girl has to guess who it is and explain the choice. As it turns out, Hugh would like to be a little boy, because children have no worries and troubles, and they are not afraid to pee in their pants. In the concert hall, they switch roles, and Jay riddles one of the audience. Hugh assumes it's the girl in the yellow dress standing nearby, but Jay doesn't see her. Clearly nervous, the guy offers to leave, explaining that he doesn't feel well. On their next date, the couple kisses on the beach, and the girl offers to move to the car. Before the romantic atmosphere of the back row, the seat is impossible to resist, so the students make love. Having satisfied their secret desires, the girl dreams of a bright and carefree future, but Hugh sneaks up behind her and puts her to sleep with chloroform. A short time later, Jay wakes up tied to a wheelchair in the middle of an abandoned factory. Hugh doesn't want to hurt her, but he has to tell her a certain secret. The guy explains that he is haunted by a mystical otherworldly being that only he can see. And after intimacy, so can Jay. The thing can take the form of anyone. It is slow, but cunning. That's why you have to hide where there's an escape route. After telling all this, Hugh notices a naked woman approaching him after escaping. The guy brings Jay home and avoids him. Police officers arrive on the scene and interview the victim, then begin their search for the boyfriend and the naked woman. As expected, law enforcement's work was inconclusive because the boyfriend's name was a fake. The house he was in was rented and the woman was never seen at all. At the university during class, Jay looks out the window and sees a suspicious old woman in a hospital gown approaching her inexorably. Nervous, the student runs away and sees that the woman continues to chase her, while the others do not see her at all. Arriving at a roadside cafe, she tells Kelly and Paul about what happened, worried about Jay. The sister and her friends agree to help and spend the night by her side. The girl can't sleep at night, so she goes down to the first floor. Chatting heart to heart with Paul, the girl recalls her first kiss and how much fun they had as kids. The pleasant conversation is interrupted by the sound of glass shattered into tiny pieces. As it turned out, someone had broken the kitchen window. Paul looks around and sees nothing suspicious, but decides to go to the second floor to call the police. Jay also looks around the kitchen and sees a half unpleasant and tormented woman walking toward her in front of her. The girl escapes to the second floor and locks herself in the bedroom, then launches Kelly and Paul into the room. A couple of minutes later, Yara asks to join them. But behind her, a tall man with no eyes appears. Frightened, Jay climbs out the window and grabs a nearby bicycle and rides off to the playground. Her friends are worried about the girl and catch up with her. Soon Greg, the sister's neighbor, comes running in, concerned about their condition and behavior. Trying to make sense of what is happening, the group of friends try to find the disappeared Hugh. After examining the rented house, Jay notices the sound traps installed in the windows and finding adult magazines on the second floor, Paul decides to examine their contents, when suddenly he finds a photo with its help the friends determine what school Hugh went to, look through the yearbooks and find out his real name Jeff Redman. Arriving at the guy's real home, Jay knocks on the door and recognizes Jeff's mother as the naked woman stalking her at the plant. Jeff apologizes for what he did, but he doesn't want to die and did what he could. Something is quite slow, but it comes after you inexorably. It stalks anyone who has had intimacy with a previous stalker and it is easy to get rid of. All you have to do is spend the night with someone else. Intimacy with Jay was Jeff's only salvation, and a girl can do the same. That said, they should stay away from each other. After all, if the creature gets to Jay, it will kill her and then go back to Jeff. Greg suggests that the company go out of town to the family cabin by the lake, 
fearing an encounter with the unknown creature Jay makes sound traps on the windows and learns how to shoot a revolver. Some time later, the friends are relaxing on the beach, when suddenly it sneaks up on the girl in the form of Yara and grabs her by the hair. Paul breaks a chair against the invisible creature, but that does nothing to stop the monster. Jay runs into the barn and shoots the creature in the head, but the bullet doesn't hurt it either. Becoming a big man, it punches through the door of the barn, and taking the form of a neighbor's, the boy tries to sneak in. Taking Greg's car, Jay escapes, but on the highway he tries to avoid an accident and flies into the cornfields. A short time later, the girl wakes up in the hospital with a broken arm. Greg wants to help her and makes love to the creature chasing him, not Jay. A few days pass and the guy doubts the sincerity of his roommate, because no one is after him. Naivety and self-confidence are off the charts. That same night, a creature in Greg's form heads to his house and breaks the living room window. Jay tries to warn his neighbor, but he doesn't pick up the phone. After following the creature, Jay sees it knocking on his door in its half-naked form as Greg's mother. As soon as the boy opens, it attacks Greg and makes love to his dead body. Realizing that you can't live in fear forever, the friends decide to kill the creature once and for all, using an abandoned swimming pool on the outskirts of town to do so. Driving away from the house, Jay notices the creature standing on the roof of her house. Arriving at the pool, the friends plug in, a lamp, TV, tape recorder and other electrical appliances. Jay climbs into the water and waits for the creature to trap it. A few hours later, she notices a monster approaching, taking the form of her father. It does not enter the pool, but throws appliances at the girl. Paul tries to help her and shoots at the invisible target, but misses and then injures Yara. Kelly finds a sheet and Jay searches for the invisible creature to cover it as soon as it takes shape, Paul takes a control shot to the head. Jay tries to get out of the pool, but the creature tortures her by the leg and pulls her under the water. Paul fires a few more shots into the water and hits her in the head again. Once out, the girl is afraid to look into the pool, but after overcoming her fear, she looks into the water and sees a sea of blood. Back home, Jay and Paul make love. Yes, the girl is clearly not picky in her choice of partner. That same night, the guy goes on a night out on the town and passes women with socially diminished responsibilities. Thinking of passing curses to them just in case. After visiting Yara in the hospital, the couple return home and hold hands. However, Jay and Paul don't even realize it's coming for them. And here comes the end. If you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and like it. See you soon. Take care.